I was just messing with this kid who's number one fucking guy in the world. I was like, you can just DM Davies. He's like, yo, that's my fucking favorite guy. I was like, that's what's up. <laughs> you got your perspective. That's it, that's it, how are you? That, that call brought people value, man. But it's like, I try not to like worry about it because it's like, damn, I got Gary V motivating me, but then I got my mom telling me to go back to school. Like that, like I'm your mom's in wrong. the middle I'm so right. much. Get your mom on the Oh. Let me talk to your mom. Nah, I'm, she's not with me right okay, now. Okay. I'm in. Uh, I'm on vacation. Okay. <laughs> what but yeah, on vacation I was... <laughs> are, man? Oh, do me a favor. Email That's Gary at VaynerMedia. You're coming here. You're spending one day here. You're coming here. All right. You're coming to VaynerMedia one day. I'm gonna put you with the crew. I need to get you f-ing rewired. How old are you again? Yeah, I mean, honestly, you gotta do me a huge favor, my man. Like the serendipity of us being here together. You need to realize how lucky you are for being this young. Like all that pressure we talked about on the call. Like I know your mom wants you to do this. I'm sure you're seeing everybody else do that. Dude, you're gonna live another 21 years, your whole life, and you'd still be younger than me. That's real. And once you wrap your head around that, shit can get so good. Is there anything you love to do? Because I I really, you know how people talk about do what you love and everyone's like, yeah, whatever, what the fuck, how am I gonna make money? The reality is with the way the internet is, it's getting weird. Like, not that it's so easy, but like, when people are like, I can't find my passion, or I can't do it a lot, I'm always like, well, what do you like? Like, like, like to me, I wish more people realized that if they love video games and they could play 15 hours a day, then either you could become an esports player, that's hard, that's like getting into the league, but you could start a fucking Instagram podcast and YouTube around it. And that's, and that's, what, that's what happened with me. And the crazy thing is, back in 2011, I was deep into the gaming community, but it's just, I was just like. I can't make money in that. Yeah, I couldn't make money in that. That's what happened, man. Or or I was just like, you know. That's what, you know know that's what always happens. Can't make money in rock and roll. Can't make money in hip hop. Can't make money in video games. Can't make, and then you can. Right. And that's. That's the biggest advice I give kids is like, if you're 16 right now, and you love something, and everybody tells you there's no money in it, that's because there's no money in it today. There might be money in it in 10 years. Is there anything I can help you with? Man, um, honestly, I just want to know, like, how can I just make sure I'm being solid with myself? That's it. Because, like, I'm trying to be an aspiring artist. And, music? Yeah, music. And so, but with me, is I don't have, I don't have, um, all the tools yet. So I'm just trying to work every day, like trying to Are you a producer or are you an artist? Artist. I th- and you've heard this from me, I would literally fucking DM every fucking music producer in Manhattan and be like, yo, I got 15 hours for you for free. If Illmind gives you 15 hours for you to like get his coffee and do shit, if he just says yes, cause on that, I mean look what the fuck are you doing here? Right. I said yes for no fucking reason. I do a lot of calls. People don't get it, like just one yes. If you wanna be fucking in the music business, hit up everybody in the music business in New York and when you have nothing to give, you have your time to give. My big thing is, but if you love music so much, isn't that a good use of 15 hours? Imagine being in studio, learning how to produce and Dave East is in the booth, you'd be like, that's fresh. Right? right? So you'd be like, this is fresh. I assume it doesn't feel like work for you. That's a guy who was like, that's, I thought about walking to work today. I'm like, I get to work on my craft every day. Yeah. It's what you love. You At love. At point, it was extra. I had to work the eight to midnight doing this. Now it's what you get to do, right? It's steps, right? You had to do this eight to midnight. It was school, right? It was right. It's, right. And then your mom saying get a real job. Right. I mean, it's real shit. He has a very similar like. Mm-hmm. Everybody's got the same shit. There's somebody that they love. Yeah. By the way, it could be your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your grandmother. Somebody who, who sees the world different and thinks people should do something that they think is right. And that's the thing, that's the problem because it's like, I want to do this, but it's just like I'm hearing go to school or take a trade. And I'm just like, I just I want to make music so I can Do that at 30. 
21, you should be taking risks around your happiness. You can get a real job at 30 and still be a fucking kid. And that's the number one thing too. I was just like, if anything, man, I want to work with Davies, if anything. <laughs> hey, if anything, because like, that's the only person I feel like that's real with the whole music industry and how he operates. Cause it's like, so you should d- DM Davies and be like, yo, I will work 10 hours a week for you for free. Pick up your fucking clothes. I don't give a fuck. I want to break into the music business and I know the number one thing that I have to give you is my blood. But like, that's what I'm saying. Like, how do I like... You go on Instagram, you go to DV's account, and you DM him. Like... I don't, I don't like to be annoying. You, know? you don't ask, you don't get. Right. And you, when you're hitting somebody up, right? When you're hitting somebody up to... Um, when you're hitting somebody up to fucking give them value, then you're giving value, right? right? Like, you know, like, it's not like you're asking for something. You're trying to give value. Mm. You know, like, that's how I see it. Like, that, that's just how I see it. You're not annoying if you're like, yo, I will give you 10 hours of my time. D-Rock hit me up four times and was like, yo, I will, I will, um, you know, I will make a free video for you. And on the fucking, you know, on the fourth time I said yes. yes. And you never know when yesterday his assistant quit. Right. Bro, you're sitting in this room That's on fucking putting your phone number into an Instagram live. Then we had to pick the fucking phone number, call you, have a conversation that compelled me to invite you here. You're sitting here because I know how many people are feeling the exact same way and you and I combined can help somebody. But I wanted to start with you because you're here. It's real life. Listen, you should come through again. I gotta go to my next shit. You should come through again. Listen to me. Start by just fucking giving people free time. People that you want to be close to. I mean, it's funny that we just randomly picked Davies, but like he's the best. He's a good kid too. Hit him up. DM him. You FaceTime and date? I was trying to get him, yeah. That would have been great. What up, family? I was just I was just messing with this kid who's number one fucking guy in the world. Say what's up. I was telling this kid, I was like, yo, like if you want to get into the music game, just DM the person you love the most and just offer fucking value. I was like, you could just I was like, you can just DM Davies. He's like, yo, that's my fucking favorite guy. I was like, that's what's up. Yo, I'm looking forward to this week. Hell yeah, can't wait, bro. You been good? All right, man, I'm running into this next meeting. I'll catch up with you later. You in New York? Right. Yeah, I'm here. Until what, Friday or Thursday or whatever, Friday? Yeah, yeah, it's All right, I, I might hit you up. All right. All right, man. Whether it's Dave East or Diddy or fucking 2 Chains, if you hit up people you wanna fuck with and just like, yo, I'm hungry. I got 10 hours for you. I'll come in and build a crate. I'll fucking, like, you understand? You all right? Yeah, dude. Yes, could be. That's all you need is one yes. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, people like they like, like, how do you work with them? Like, do you... you give them what they want. Like, you don't have anything to give yet other than grunt your hours. But interns become CEOs all the time. Learn the game, you know? All right, let's do it. Tell me everything. Give me, I mean, obviously I know a lot from just living in life, but give me the state of the union of the crew and like what you guys are up to and like how I can help. Well, I'm getting into the internet now. I I got out, when I got out of prison. And when was that exactly? 09. Okay, after how long? Uh, 20 years. I found out about you about four months ago, you know, uh, because I wasn't. I don't watch TV, I don't. Go Trust me, I'm, thr- I'm thrilled anybody knows who I am, so I get it. <laughs> I'm the, by the way, I'm the same way. I, I'm in such a cocoon, there's so much shit. Yeah. And then the when I heard you- The world is so fragmented now, you could be the biggest rapper, the biggest kid on TikTok, the big, I mean, athlete, like, the world's so, fr- it's not 1984 anymore where everybody knew the same people. Right. And then after I started to hear you speak, and I was like, fuck, this guy, 
says what I'm thinking. The way I, the way I think, you know, the way I ran my drug empire, uh, the way that I do everything right now, this guy does it. And um, I started telling uh, Sam, one of my guys, that, that uh, I would like to meet this guy, you know, uh, I would like to sit down and talk to him. I'm glad we're here. And uh, He's the one that, that introduced me to yeah, you. Like last year I was like, Rick, you gotta check out Gary Vee because someone put me onto you. And I was yeah. like, and I, you know, I showed him the video. And he was like, this guy thinks just like me. He just thinks just like me. And like beginning this year, I was like, Rick, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you meet Gary Vee. I'm glad we made it happen. <laughs> I'm glad we made it happen. You know, listen, I'm so on the record on like this is all the same shit. I just believe it. It makes cycle. so much sense to me. I don't have every T and I crossed of your career, but anybody that's successful in, in flipping and organizing anything, whether it's garage sailing, drugs, sneakers, business, it's, it's the same mechanics. And I'll be honest with you, the internet actually is creating a system that leans more towards like, I'm a street kid. I was a DNF student. It was like, I didn't sell drugs, but I, like baseball cards or lemon, like it's all the same shit and the internet's making it more valuable for us non-students than the students. And so I actually think the greatest generation of what has historically been the have-nots is coming because this equalizes everything and then what takes over is the way you and I think. Because now you're going into intuition, human behavior. We're this close to being psychologists. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, Trout, get, I wanna, can I taste the wine? I literally have not tasted the rosé yet. Fucking the alumni program's here. Like this is. I went to bring it. I know, the fucking, the alumni's here. It's fucking, it's a party. How are you, it's great to see you. Yeah, pull it in. Dude, I'm so excited right now. No, this is literally the first time I'm having the wine. I blended it, I like, we birthed it, but I haven't seen my child yet. All right, this is literally me tasting Empathy Rosé for the first time ever, ever. Let's go. Good news. Oh, make deal. Handsome and muck with this. We're in deep shit. <laughs> we really nailed it. I'm like, this is, that's why everyone likes it. So here you are, you're, you've been successful by all accounts. I personally believe that you're about to get really successful because I think you're patient and hungry and doing the right things and even if the global economy takes a step back, I just, I can see it. Yes. I know exactly who you're gonna be at 71 and I'm looking forward to having more stories with okay. you. But you're sitting here and telling everybody the 72 hours I spent with this person shaped, you know, you had your natural DNA, the hustler immigrant yeah. shit, fine. I just wish more people heard you and this is why I'm making the big to-do here. 72 hours. Now, all of you who I tell in your 20s when you're doing dick shit nothing with your fucking life, when I tell you to spend two hours a day on your couch doing dick shit nothing and DM everybody you admire and say to them, I've got fucking time, you're busy as shit, I will fucking do anything. Eat shit for 15 hours a week for free for you. A, once in a blue moon somebody says yes yeah. and that will change your life. Happen to you, happen to DRock, like happen to Andy, this is real. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are super well, hope you enjoyed it. I thought that was a really good one. That was a real good one. I appreciate that. I appreciate it, brother. I pray for the worst to go. We're at a Made in New York pizza with a little bit of a meetup. We hit up a bunch of influencers. New location. I'm an investor in uh, Aton Sugarman's place. Good dude. Excited to see a bunch of people that I haven't met who uh, follow me on the gram. A bunch of good pizza. Say what's up. Hello. Hi. Uh, that's where we're at. Jeffrey, what's up, baby? Taking full advantage of today. Full advantage, baby. Yo, Gary, that pepperoni, though? This place is Yo, crazy. I never seen someone put so much pepperoni on a slice. <laughs> it's true. It's like, it's like the, it's like, 
It's like the pizza is the, ex, the topping to the actual yeah, thing. Yeah. It's like pepperoni with some pizza. It's true. It's true, man. Look at D-Rock in the back. D-Rock, you serving? D-Rock is rocking back. Let's make a content. Well, you were yeah, basically what I was saying to him is like, I understand that mindset has been so popular. Everyone on Instagram yes, is yes, 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 yes. mindset. And I know you touch on this a lot with your empathy, but it's like really understanding the heart set. And my question to you is, when do you think people are going to start really taking it seriously, like listening to your heart, meditating, when, really tapping in? When the next cycle of pain. I think most of the shit that I'm spitting yeah. gets really understood the next time we have economic pain. Because even right now, I'm starting to feel public backlash a little bit, that I'm spitting a little too much happiness. And people are shitting on me a little bit about like, no, no, you need to make money. I'm like, cool, that's fine right now because the economy's great. Hit me up when shit hits the fan and everybody's in trouble. So I think a lot of this will get cleaned up and synthesized when the fucking shit hit. When the, when the economy gets tough, brands don't have money to give influencers money. Now what? People are naive because they're young and haven't lived through a cycle. Even you at 34, and you know you were just went you just went through, but you were so young, like you know you haven't lived it. You haven't lived when like the market collapses. What I'm most worried about is people have played up something that they may have to take a step back and it's gonna hurt more than they're willing to feel the hurt and I don't know what they're gonna do. The biggest mistake influencers make is they pander to the platform, not to their own happiness. Yeah. You know what is gonna work and get likes and you'll do that over what you actually care about. Yeah, I know. That's I just I'm well, like, fucking I don't, don't do that. I, like, I actually keep like going to hype stuff or cool stuff. The, number, like events, the like, number one mistake that influencers make is they pander to the platform, not to their happiness. It is the number one mistake. Yeah. Post about and then fucking that's how something we that makes depressed. That's how we get 100%. depressed. We try to be cool or we try to go to every event. Or you put out something that you know gets ten thousand likes instead of something that's gonna be meaningful to your life. Yeah, but I mean, we just want to get the, the fire photo Don't. up. Yeah. It's not making you happy enough. It's not. The end. But you have to post shit that makes you happy, yeah. not what you think is going to get good engagement. Yeah. Because then you become fucking sucked up in the machine. I've been. No shit. Years. No yeah. shit. You, you can't let that happen. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm part of the machine, you know? But I um, wasn't first, I was like, okay. That's how the fucking machine works. <laughs> I know, now I'm like, Be smart. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just gonna get worse and worse. To be in the Ryan Seacrest of sports, that's my goal, that's my dream. I'm already working I, I have a real, I have a real thought about that. I think okay. what you should do is disproportionately try to bring people value. Okay. So like, I don't think people understand how much leverage there is in giving. Okay. So, figure out who the 500 most important people are in sports. Yeah. Whether it's the people that run the company, whether it's, do you know, um, do you know Erica, the uh, CEO of Barstool? I haven't met her yet, but my agent, I just got a Send me an email right now. Here's the thing, Jackie, that everybody fucks up. Okay. So you go and meet Erica, and what happens? Everybody's in the mindset of like, what can you do, What Erica, what can you do for me, right? right. How do you, Erica, as a CEO of Barstool, help me become the Ryan Seacrest of sports? Right. What you need to figure out is, hey Erica, the fuck can I do for Here's you? How I can help. No. No. You. What? It's, <laughs> no. No. Wrong. No. Wrong. no. Wrong. <laughs> the worst thing to do is, what can you do for me? Okay. The next worst thing is, here's how I can help you, because that's you giving on that's your like, terms. That's, okay. On your terms. The the best thing you can do is, hey Erica, let me listen to you. What can I do for you? Okay. Got it. I get that. I get yeah. that. I'm just gonna stand okay. by it. Pepperonis are legit. Have you had one? I'm glad you're here, bro. What's up, man? Appreciate it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for coming. I, uh, on the finance team. I know who you are. Yeah, I know, yeah. I see you fucking almost yeah. You're one of the few people I walk through because yeah. I go to the bathroom. I, I see know, I see you. We, we good? Yeah, I'm also on the influencer team. Yeah, I'm aware. Yeah, yeah. When you, all good? When you want yeah, man. Yeah. All good. Okay. I uh, appreciate it. Just pull, grab a quick photo. Of course. All right, Jace, this is it. I got no fucking closing. I'm fucking finished. It's a good day. Got a lot of shit done. You got what you fucking needed. Eat some fucking pizza. See ya.